Hello friends and welcome back to my channel that is Programming Nation. In last tutorial of Quick Basic, I made you learn the use of L shift command, then numbering the statements, and also the use of go to command in this. So in today's tutorial, I'll make you learn the use of L shift command in which there are more than two situations. So I'll be making a program in which there are three numbers and the program need to identify which number is equal to what. So CLS that means input uh, enter sorry enter first number that means enter the first number that will be variable a then input enter second number that means enter second number so that will be given variable b then input second enter third number that means we are having three numbers so this is the third number so it will be given as the variable numbers name c so now i'll be using if command if a equals to b and also and b is also equals to c that means all all a b c are equal so then sorry then print all numbers are equal that means all numbers are equal So in next uh, else if I'm using, sorry, else if this is because means there are more than two command, two situations. So we'll be using else if. That means if this is equal, if this is this, so then print this. If this is this, then print this. If this is this, then print this. So it will be like that only. Then a equals to b. Then what will be? Then what will happen? Then print. On first number, that means first number which you have written first and second number which you have written numbers are equal. That means first and second number A is equal to B. Then first and second number will both will be equal. So in this, now I am using else if. That means if A equals to C, then what will be printed? So else if. Then a equals to c and then print. Then I'll be printing first and third number. That means variable a and variable c are equal. So and now I'm be writing else if the last one else if. That means if b is equals to c, then what will happen? Then print. In double quotation, I'll be writing second and third number. That means second and third number numbers are equal. So I'll be ending the statement. That means I'll be ending the chain of if means by typing and if. That it means that we are uh, stopping the situation means if this is equal if this is this then print this this is this then print this like that we are uh, means whatever is there we are ending it by end if and we'll be ending the program by end so now i'll be running the program so there are four situations so i'll be showing you the output four times so i'll be typing first 12 second also 12 and third also 12 that means all numbers are equal now there is one change sorry by mistake i have written b over here that we should be c so i'll be typing number first is equal to 12 second also 12 but third is 11 that means first and second numbers are equal so third is first is 12 second is 13 and fourth is also 13 that means uh, second and third numbers are equal and last situation it will be 12 13 and 12 that means first and second num third numbers are equal so if you like the video please thumbs up and if you like the channel so please subscribe it and thanks for watching my video goodbye